What's going on guys, Alter Nastasio here with FlightPath.com. Now here I have a backpack from DJI. This is called the DJI Goggles Carry More Backpack. And this is actually made by DJI, but I actually purchased it from the DJI store. They didn't send me this bag. And even though I have a ton of backpacks and I've talked about all of them on this channel, I was always intrigued and I really have always liked have the DJI style backpacks that they've come out with in the past. First saw one of their bags when they first came out with the DJI Phantom, but I thought that was kind of big. And then they've also had these more of like hard clamshell type backpacks and I never really got into those. But then I saw this one, which is actually in the DJI store in the FPV section of the store. And I just thought, well, you know what? I might as well pick one up just to see because I definitely like my backpacks. And if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Aldrin Astacio. I do a lot of drone tech tips, tutorials, and product reviews right here on this channel. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing and also hitting that bell to be notified when I post new videos. Now, I've been using this bag for the past week or so now. And I, what I really like about it is this right here a completely flat bottom. So wherever you put it, it just sits flat like this. You don't have to worry about it tipping over like a lot of the other bags on the market. And also the size, even though the PGY Tech one, which I normally carry around all the time, this one actually is a little bit smaller than that one, but I actually kind of like it just because it just helps you limit the amount of stuff that you want to bring. And the last thing I really like about it is just really smooth texture all around. You don't have like too many things going on, too noisy of a bag. It's all nice and smooth all the way. So I just like the craftsmanship in general that DJI has with their backpacks. Now, as far as the PGY Tech one, this is the one I will normally use on more of a daily carry. If not this one, sometimes I use my Peak one. But as you can see here, just a nice difference in size. Like if you wanted something a little bit smaller, sometimes people just, you know, of course have different frames have different needs as far as what you need to carry. I just thought it was a good option if you were carrying just a little bit less gear and you wanted to have a smaller backpack. So as you can see, size difference here from the very front, also from the side right there, you can kind of see just how much smaller this bag is. But like I said, this is probably still my daily carry, but it's always nice just to see what other options are out there. What kind of frustrates me with this bag is this right here. You can kind of see that does not have that flat bottom, it has a nice little flip top. So this is what gives you quick access to your FPV drone right here at the very top. It has a bottom tray that kind of like wraps around. I'll show you that in a second. But I think this is what they're targeting it for is that you've just put your FPV drone in there when you're done flying, which means you can put it here on top, which is really nice. So you can actually put in a bunch of other gear. So you have a pocket here at top with elastic. You have a long one down here. I'll put things like, you know, a landing pad. You can fit that all the way in the very front here. There's another pocket right here. There's a couple of zippers here at the very top. On both sides of the bag, we do have little pockets here. So if you wanted to include your little PGY Tech Mantis pod, it does fit nicely here. It's not big enough really to hold like a large water bottle. You could probably fit like a regular size water bottle on the sides, but nothing like a huge tripod or anything like that. A couple hooks here. So if you wanted to hook up some extra gear. Also here on the front, we have this small side pocket. So if you wanted to hold quick access things, passport, wallet, straps, which is kind of interesting. It's like a handle on the shoulder strap. I don't really care like that, but I normally would like pick it up by it, which I thought was pretty cool. Has good padding on the back. And then here, which I do like is the back side load. So if you do want to load your gear up from the back side, you are able to do that. Also helps with security, keeping it back loaded prevents people from grabbing anything from the side. And this is it. When you open it up, you still have access to the drone from either the backside here or the top. It has room for your goggles, remote control, two batteries here, areas here to hold, you know, your battery cables and things like that. And this has a little bit longer of a flap so that when your drone is inside of here and it kind of wraps over so that if you did access it from the top, things won't fall through here. So they do have this little bit extra slack here to cover up the drone, protect it when this is closed up. Here at the very top, area for your propellers, little elastic pocket here. And then also we have a pocket here, which is not really designed to hold like a big laptop. I do have my 13 inch MacBook Pro. It doesn't really fit in sideways. You have to put it in more like this. So I, I wouldn't say it's really designed for a laptop. It can hold it, but it's not really designed for it because if you pull this strap over, it's long enough to 
Velcro and kind of secure it in there just enough. I think a 15 inch would be pushing it a little bit too much. It'd probably go all the way up here. But if you have something like this, maybe an iPad Pro, and uh, that fits actually nicely in here. And even if you didn't have an FPV drone and you just wanted to carry some gear in here, what I was doing is carrying my camera gear at the very top. That way I do have access to my camera from the very top or the back. And then I can still fit in, this is my Mavic Air 2S in my case. I can fit that right there. And also the remote control fits here at the very bottom. So same thing, I'm able to now carry my camera here up top, my drone, my remote control. If you didn't have a drone, then you can either put in like a 70 to 200 lens in here, a uh, smaller one down below. And what was nice is that if I have a mic, so if you're the type to go out there and vlog or just be out in the field and you kept your mic on it, you are able to now have enough space here to keep your microphone on the camera. And there's also a little Velcro strap here. So if you wanted to Velcro your camera down, you are able to do that. And there it is guys, this is the new DJI. They call it the DJI Goggles Carry More Backpack. So you are able to carry the FPV drone. That's kind of where I found it on their website. It was on the FPV section made to initially hold your FPV drone, the goggles, as well as your remote control in here. But of course, if you don't have that one, like myself, if you just want to carry all your other gear, and be able to carry, carry a camera, your drone, maybe some lenses and things like that. A little bit smaller of a footprint compared to the other bags that I normally would carry around, the PGY Tech one or the Peak one. I'll leave the, the links to those products as well down below in the video description. As always guys, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Aldrin Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.